It's an issue that's caused division like almost no other in the region in recent times. Today, those against the burying of nuclear waste in Cumbria were out in force again. The reason? A group of West Cumbrian councillors had sparked a meeting because they believed the decision made last month was a dire mistake. Put simply, that decision means an underground nuclear waste repository will not be built in Cumbria. The councillors argue that the reasoning for the decision was flawed. But despite their concerns, the scrutiny committee today disagreed with them and stood by the decision made last month. Fundamentally and at its simplest, I think Cabinet answered the wrong question. Everything to do with the issue was as though they were deciding to start digging the hole next weekend. In fact, they were just agreeing to stage four, which was to conduct a desktop study to try and seek to find possible sites in West Cumbria. That's all it was to do with. There were allegations made after the meeting last month that some had voted on party lines after council leader Eddie Martin said he would have to consider his position if the vote went against him. Today, he flatly denied those allegations again and used the meeting to announce that he's standing down come May's elections. But he remained certain that the council made the right decision. We did a great deal of research. Cabinet did not take the decision lightly. Um, inevitably, uh, quite rightly in some ways, it had to come back for it to be scrutinised by other members. And of course I'm delighted that the uh, unanimous decision of the scrutiny committee was that Cabinet's decision would be upheld. Some think the whole issue can be rekindled in the future. Others, though, disagree. At times today, the meeting was fraught, verging on angry. Opinions and feelings about this issue as strong as they've ever been. But the fact remains, Cumbria has said no to the underground storage of nuclear waste. The problem now is what to do in the long term with the waste currently being stored at Sellafield. John Beaver, ITV News, Carlisle.